Hi guys, Sarah here from Crochet Lefty and today we're going to do a book review on crochet stitches and motifs. There are 250 stitches to crochet in this book and it is edited by Erica Knight. This is one of three of the uh, Harmony Guides presented by Interweave Press. The other, the other two it are 101 stitches to crochet and the basic crochet stitches um, book that I've already reviewed on this channel if you want to take a look at those. Now, and Erica has edited all three of these books. She's also got a series as well in the knitting. So you can also find her with some other books. Uh, they're Simply Crochet. Uh, and simply crochet. There's a complete how-to crochet. There's 500 and there's 500 crochet stitches, basic crochet stitches, and uh, many uh, knitting books that she's got too. You can find her on social media, uh, Facebook. She's under Knights Craft, and Instagram under Knights Craft as well. You can find some videos under Coats Crafts on YouTube and then you can find lots of her designs on Pinterest, Ravelry, um, those types of sites. So um, this book is being sold on Amazon for $39.18 new and used $14.96. So let's jump in. Now we start off with the first table of contents. You have your inspiration, tools, equipment, the basics, your stitch gallery, keys, abbreviations, and then your index. Moving on to the inspirations, it's just a couple of pages here, um, basically to give you um, some inspiration on how to use this book because a lot of these are motifs. So it tells you like you can you make table runners, tablecloths. There's um, a couple of paragraphs about Irish crochet. Um, so just different ways that you can use the motifs. So here we have uh, tools and equipment and some basic crochet, um, how to hold your hook, your basic stitches your half doubles, your doubles, some more basic stitchings, gauge, more stitches. Here's the Irish crochet I was talking about, just a couple of paragraphs here, and then uh, talks about the clones knots. If you're unfamiliar, she has a couple of steps here too, and I actually um, went online and kind of Googled more about what that was about. So then it jumps into the stitch gallery. What I love about these books so much is the pictures. The pictures are beautiful, they're bright and they're clear, and you can see like great stitch definitions and stuff like here. So here we have our first. Um, squares. You have your traditional granny squares and then you change it up with some color and then we jump into some other types of squares and some circles. Now this book offers hexagons, stars, squares, flowers, um, all types of shapes. They're not in any order whatsoever. So if you want to make a green leaf, I suggest putting a little page tab at the top because there is no index. I mean, there's no, there is an index. So you would have to go to the back. So here's a shamrock. And there's no, there's no organization of how the book is put together as far as I've seen some crochet motif books that put all the squares together. 
they put all the flowers together, then they put all the hexagons together, and stars together, so there's really no organization of the motifs, but each motif comes with your written pattern and then your um, symbols, your charts. So here's the index in the back, and so you have just the different. Let's see, if you're looking for a shamrock, you've got one, two, three, four different types of shamrocks. You've got one, two, three, four different types of snowflakes. But if you're looking for, let's see, like a leaf, you do have one leaf. So you can look up your motifs in that way, but if you are just simply browsing through your book and you find um, a circle that you really like, I suggest putting a page marker up at the top. Um, I do love that the book is a flat lay binding. Um, I did buy my book used, but when I bought my other book, my other inter interweave book, it still had, and I bought that one brand new, it still had the lay flat binding. The paper quality is very nice, it's very smooth, it's nice to write on. It does not erase if you use pencil though. It's very hard to erase. You'll still see um, shadowing. Other than that, um, that is that is the book review. But it has a lot of beautiful and some re repeats. So you'll have, let's see, like you'll have the grannies, you have the couple of granny squares in the front, and then there are some other granny variations. Here's another one. This granny square doesn't have the chain one in the middle. So that one is just slightly different from this one, but it has a different name. And there's another one in here too that is just slightly different from the other two, but it has a different name. Here we have the old American square. Oh, that one is different. So I stand corrected. There's another one here I thought I'd seen. Probably should have marked it with my page markers. Here's a granny square with just a slightly different type of a chart. But you get what you get what I'm saying. Here's your traditional hexagon and then your color change hexagon. There are other types of hexagons too. Um, so but at least you got a, a nice little flip through of what is what you have in store. Oh, here, here's the American square, and it just has, it has one single crochet in the middle. I mean, yeah, one single crochet in the middle. And so does this. So it looks just slightly different, probably not too much different. So, and then when you get to the back, now what's great about this book too is you have a lot of great beginner type motifs, and as you can see here, you have your more advanced type motifs. So in the back you have your key with all of your different um, abbreviations all broken down for you. 
um, <clears throat> what each figure means for your crochet chart. And here's some more abbreviations. And then, of course, here's your index. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this book review. If you did, please stay tuned. And I have lots more books to show you guys. And if you'd like to continue to watch these type of videos, just hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. I will see you guys later. Bye, you guys.